Dana Milbank from The Washington Post wrote an opinion article entitled, Donald Trump is very confused. We are discussing the article's main points and inviting a dozens of comments from viewers, which we will put on the air shortly. In a world of political intrigue and the quest for power, we take you to New Hampshire, where the stage is set for a dramatic showdown. But behind the scenes, a different story unfolds. Trump's speeches are marked by confusion, mixing up leaders of nations and mispronouncing names. Yet, he confidently claims to have aced cognitive tests, despite questions about his own memory. And as he repeats stories over and over again, it becomes evident that the former president may have lost a step. But in the world of politics, memory lapses are not always disqualifying. Hypocrisy, however, is a different story. As Trump continues to make controversial statements, the media focuses on his authoritarian outbursts and appeals to his base. But a closer look reveals that the very stable genius may be off his game, even with a professional campaign behind him. As we delve deeper into this political circus, we witness the spectacle of Trump's rallies, complete with insults, extravagant lies, and appeals to white nationalism. But amidst the chaos, one candidate emerges as a voice of reason in the Republican Party, Nikki Haley. She questions Trump's credibility, pointing out his false claims and asks voters if they want to question the truth. As the drama unfolds, we can't help but wonder, is this a party on the brink of change or is it too little, too late? Join us as we navigate the twists and turns of this political saga. Will Trump's charisma prevail or will the voice of reason find its way to the forefront? To elaborate on how ordinary people feel about this issue, we are providing dozens of actual viewer comments. Enjoy, here goes. What are people just saying? This same WAPO journalist wrote about the Iowa primary, and he has done so again here. He is consistent. He talks around the Trump menace, never getting to the meat of the discussion. Trump addressed his cognitive problems by stating he aced his most recent test. Where is the independent evidence? Why is the question not about demanding to speak with the doctor, or asking for the written report, or asking Trump a direct question about his Haley Pelosi mix up? The national media is ignoring Dumpy's obvious cognitive decline because it doesn't fit their narrative. Yep, we've really lowered the bar for Republicans. You don't get a pass for finally focusing on Hash 45's many, many obvious and dangerous lapses in mental acuity and awareness over the past decade. All of the media have glossed over them when not ignoring him, and now you act all self-aware. Would any sane individual define Trump's rants as speech? For New Hampshire showed us, beyond all doubt, that Donald Trump is very, very confused. This country needs a welfare check. No joke. Good points but flubbed it in the end with the Haley glorification. She is a flip-flopper who reads the room to determine talking points meaning her platform depends on the day and the crowd. Tell the people what they want to hear, isn't courageous or presidential. She will no doubt cave soon and then kiss the ring. Voting blue down ballot. She said to Dana Bash on CNN that she would vote for Trump in November. Her reason was preventing the possibility of a K. Harris presidency. I'm sure Kamala will be delighted to hear that a fellow female would prefer Donald Trump as president. This type of biased coverage is why nobody cares about the mainstream media or the Washington Post. Trump won again in another landslide. The only thing the Washington Post is confused about is that, because they are out of touch with real Americans and what they want. What they want is Donald J. Trump as our next president. The real Americans are the ones who did not invade the Capitol building on the 1st of June 21. Yep, he's an idiot and a horrible person who now is demented. And he is absolutely going to be elected president again because the powerful people who could have stopped him failed. When he gets to the point where all he can say is wah 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 there is some hope Trumpies will wake up. I've seen this kind of rapid decline and he may not make it till November let alone four years in office. Good grief. What a hot mess. Total lack of self-awareness exhibited by the miserable people seeking elective office. Now, where did I put my magic wand? Laughing face. Dot the 77-year-old Trump seems also to have lost a step. Also, like Biden, give me a break. And occasionally, Trump just talks nonsense. Occasionally? The GOP is unable to find a decent candidate, but Haley is at least sane. Vote blue. P.S. Biden would wipe the floor with her in an election.
Honestly, if Trump supporters can ignore the lies and deceit of an aging dinosaur, then his senile missteps are not going to faze them in the least. They've already sold their souls to the devil. This article was spot on but Milbank lost me at the end with the cheerleading about Haley. She's a nothing burger and a nobody was just a Trump or DeSantis in a skirt and heels. She couldn't beat the orange menace and certainly couldn't beat Biden. She wants a six-week abortion ban and is just as bigoted and hateful as the rest of the gope clowns. Plus she has a chin like the Wicked Witch of the West from the Wizard of Oz and the same type of personality too. Do better next time Dana or you'll lose all credibility. Do better next time Dana or you'll lose all credibility. Agree. If pointing out Trump's bumbling ways gets traction with his detractors, I see serious butthurt for Trump defenders. Even they are not comfortable when unpleasant facts start getting undeniable and pushed in their faces. The peaceful tourist bus visit on January 6 notwithstanding. Dana, maybe his constant repetition of his outrageous lies isn't evidence of his confusion, but instead, is a strategy of persuasion. The Oz psychological profile of Hitler described his use of the big lie. Dana, I count you among many journalists who are following this campaign as though you are in a war, and thank you and your colleagues for your efforts. We are in a war. In a healthy Republican Party, people like Nikki Haley wouldn't get anywhere near the presidential nomination. Neither would Trump. When asked at an Orange Jesus rally to name one thing Orange Jesus did as president that made their lives better not one of the half-dozen men and women MAGA morons asked could name one thing. Republicans are the dumbest Americans alive, period. And I ask myself this, as I left the USA for good in October, what kind of country allows the dumbest, not to mention the meanest, most bigoted, third of their populace to run the country? All of Trump's babbling, lies, misstatements, all of that, and yet yesterday 55% of Republicans in New Hampshire looked at this hot mess and decided yes, that's the guy for us. Trump is leading Biden in virtually every poll. No incumbent president in history has ever won with poll numbers as bad as Biden's. Americans just don't like President Biden. Can't be any worse than Biden. So, consider this. 1. Passed the $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure package to increase investment in the national network of bridges and roads, airports, public transport and national broadband internet. Yeah, pretty bad. All right. Really sucks being the most effective president in living memory. Amen. Only effective at creating runaway inflation, sending money overseas, and entangling America into costly foreign wars. He is also effective at letting illegal immigrants into our nation. Caution. You have accidentally entered a reality-based forum. Please return to your delusional bubble. Try letting a half million Americans die of COVID. Of course none of this matters to the average Trump voter. Mr. Milbank must have a very strong stomach to be able to stay the distance at a Trump rally. These embers of rage and fury is going to be difficult to put out while it's fueling this steam engine called Trump into the most contentious and possibly perilous political campaign in American history. Actually, she's too phony and principle-free to be much of a threat in a general election. She is simply too easy for many of us to see through. There is no Republican Party anymore, it's the Trump cult party yummy face. Yikes. The National Association of Trumpist Christians. All cult leaders warn of the impending apocalyptic doom looming on the dark horizon. Yeah, I, too, stumbled over that, also. With respect, Mr. Milbank, the tangerine Caligula is not merely confused, he is profoundly deranged, if not also demented. Interesting to note Trump stating that store shelves are not being stocked. One thing about this ridiculous emphasis on Iowa, New Hampshire, we have been spared the usual interviews with undecided voters. Maybe they can't find any. Republican Party is a misnomer. It is the Trump cult. Haley said she would pardon TFG if elected. No vote from me, girl. I'm pinning my hopes on Georgia and NY. He can't be pardoned there. Fact is, another world awaits repubs outside Trump's cunt tilde humpy maga bubble. We know all of this. His base perhaps knows this too, but doesn't care. I just asked my dog, who told me that with the mental state of TFG's base, it is not possible to recognize this. Confused. You spelled dangerously senile wrong. The gradation of mental state among Republican voters is divided into three categories, 
dumb, dumber, Trump. The better part of my career was devoted to treating behavioral disorders. Yes, they are disqualifying. This is a person who is not a malignant narcissist. He now is showing crystal clear signs of cognitive deterioration. The refusal of pundits such as yourself to see what is present for everyone to observe is reminiscent of Ionesco's rhinoceros. Thank you for covering the remarks in detail. Proving up that Trump is several cards short of a full deck is important. Many people, from all parts of the political spectrum, have seen age-related dementia up close and may care more about keeping the keys out of Trump's hands than they do larger questions about big lies, criminal conduct, even democracy itself. I don't know why you are always able to assess our current national political chaos and nail the reality of it, Mr. Milbank, but you never fail to do just that. When I scroll through post-opinion columns and find you offering one, I am so delighted. Your perception and your writing are simply the best. There is an obvious difference between old Trump and old Biden. Trump is an excellent athlete while Biden is not even middle level. Trumpem has the respect of entire world, and Biden not even of his wife. Trump has a well-organized party, while Biden has a party of everything and contrary of everything, a party of, of confusion, Biden away, whatever it takes. Seems you're confused with learned hate for Biden. Betcha I know where you learned it. The world is hoping Trump is not elected, they have no respect for him. You must be a Russian troll. Bots spell better and use proper English, not to mention the fact that they possess a somewhat firmer grasp on reality than trolls. Typical Trump fan, can't spell, write a coherent sentence or simply make sense. No wonder they don't acknowledge his verbal garbage, he speaks their language. I don't know if Trump has dementia. However, it is quite clear that he is insane. The American sickness is not Trump. It is the ignorant, profoundly benighted, blind and self-righteous electorate that votes for him. The famous American, grassroots, are toxic and dead or dying. It is the tragedy of my lifetime that the valiant soldiers, my father's generation, of Omaha Beach fought and died to save what is today a husk of a nation as represented by the Republican Party, our media and our failing schools, laws and values, and our destructive, progressive, excesses. Ignorant, profoundly benighted, blind and self-righteous electorate that votes for him. Are encouraged by the cowardice of state and federal GOP politicians that detest Trump, but publicly support him. Vote Blue Heart. She would handily beat Biden. Not likely, she's a lightweight. What has the Democratic Party gained by not letting Iowa and New Hampshire go first? Does anyone have an answer for that? Joe Biden and the DNC owe Iowa and New Hampshire Dems an apology. Why should those two states always be first? Because together they generate a lot of excitement. Other states can generate excitement. Only in the media. I don't know a sentient being that gave AS underscore H underscore I underscore T. In another year, you might be correct. You ask what has the Democratic Party gained? Fairness. No one or no thing has preordained Iowa and New Hampshire as the must kick off primaries. Well, okay, I hope history proves you right. Because both of these states are predominantly white. You know what's so funny about Trump? He doesn't want to be president. He did not like the job, he did not like the work. He spent most of his time at one of his resorts or the golf course. What Trump desires above all else is the adulation, the spotlight, the excitement, the respect, the title, the power, and Air Force One. Maybe if the US government gave Trump the old Air Force One, an official limousine, some letterhead, a set of White House China, you know, the trappings of the presidency, he would be content to leave the good people in America alone. He's running to stay out of prison. Has Dondell Lump stopped wearing adult diapers? Everyone wants to know. The orange menace knows he can tell his followers anything and they will believe it, no thought necessary. Babies and also the senile understand one another. Most of the poorly educated are groomed by Fox and frightwing media's lies, hate and fearmongering. The scam also attracts college grads, also poorly educated, for being victims of right-wing media. If a reporter asks a Democrat what will be the resolution of the Israeli conflict the answer should always be the same, have you noticed the decline in Trump's mental state? It's shocking, Trump thinks he ran against Obama. What about immigration? Ditto. What about the deficit? Ditto. One answer for every question. It's what the GQP did to Hillary. 
Republicans are not interested in solving the border situation. They prefer griping and sending fearmongering fundraising email dollar. Yes, but those are the questions the media ask. We want to discuss only Trump's mental collapse. Worked with Hillary's emails. Republicans have no viable solutions for the border and some House Republicans skip hearings about immigration to avoid being called out by Democrats. The GOP loves its rapey Trump. What's next to pedo? A murder? First prey candidate with four indictments, 91 charges, and a rape conviction in 2023. A debilitating stroke, a heart attack, dementia, MS, Parkinson's. I wish all these things for TFG, and more. Your number one would suffice. Hopefully followed by a long incapacitated life. But this is not a healthy Republican party. I know it's only late January, Dana, but you may well have already locked up the understatement of the year award for 2024.